Peace, love, and coconut oil family, and all we do, another installment of Melanin to the Empire. Peace, 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 and love. Give thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for even, you know, I mean, it's the summer solstice family. Yesterday, well, yesterday, according to your time zone, it would be either yesterday or today. But however the case, we're in the, the space of this summer solstice where the sun actually remains still where it's in its highest point in the sky and we remain still and this basically would give us the opening to what we know as our summer or even the hottest month of the year which is in the constellation of leo the lion but we know you know it's actually re and re re at the o rio and they changed the R to the L and then the Rio became Leo but it's all has to do with rice just the Sun family anyway I just wanted to have a little bill really on basically you know thinking out loud um, did religion contribute to our selfishness you know some of us can actually be really selfish family um, and I know while it may have to do with our upbringing sometimes we wasn't exposed too much sometimes we wasn't taught a basic principle of um, sharing or perhaps our experiences and the world we're living in today has pretty much taught people to be selfish you know but I think in again thinking out loud I think it also has a lot to do with religion family why we are self-centered individuals and why we are selfish now why do I say that it's because the religion we were raised up with, Christianity or Catholicism, you want to call it that, most of us in the Caribbean, especially here in St. Lucia, the biblical God, Yahweh, in the Old Testament, and we can even say in the New Testament too, when he even sent his son, he's a very, for lack of a better term, and I do apologize if I offend anyone, but he is a very narcissist sort of um person or you know that ego you can say or that character just spells narcissism like they're a narcissist why do i say that the definition of a narcissist means that someone who is self-centered it's always about them they want to be recognized they see in their self-worth and everyone has to commend them and and what they did and you know it's just all about them family they do not consider that you know another individual perhaps is an extension of them and can possibly shed some light on an experience, on a scenario, on a problem, a difficulty they, they are having. So like, it's sort of just all about them. And we can see that same correlation with the biblical deity. Because from the Old Testament, even one of the commandments, you shall have no other gods above me. I'm a very jealous God. So that's narcissism number one right there. I'm a very jealous God. Don't have no other gods but me. Old Testament always wants individuals to be burning sheep, cow, goat, whatever they can get. Just burn it up for him to get, you know, the aroma from the scent of the burning meat. You know, but it has to be solely for them to worship them. Take for example, um, in the alleged story of the Exodus, I mean, the man could have just kill the Pharaoh or kill Satan who is tempting the Pharaoh or something, just get it over and done with. But then he's telling Moses to go to the Pharaoh and tell the Pharaoh to release his people. But then he's telling Moses the Pharaoh will not let the people go, but still go to them and let the people go. Why won't he let the people go? Because he's in Pharaoh's heart and he won't let the people go. It's like he needs a tribulation to go for it to happen. So the people can know that he pulled them out from the situation and then give him all the praise. You see, so however way you look at it, it still ends up to giving him the praise. When Jesus came, what, what did he say? I don't do this on my own accord. It is all for my father. It's for my father, for my father, for my father. You see what I'm saying? So this sort of um, um, psychological disorder family, I think if we have been superimpose that for most of our life especially in our beginning years when our brain capacity is just beginning to develop i think that will have an effect on us later on in life you see what i'm saying and it is not until an individual requires to know what more is there to seek further to unlearn and to relearn then you actually stop and think you know and you know be like you know what 
I think probably I was being probably a little too selfish, you know. Let me try and be a more open, a little more giving. Again, it's a balance. Again, one hand cannot clap. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of that selfish mentality I see a lot of our people are having. I know, again, pandemics, so pandemics and situations can create that side, that um, sort of emotion, that sort of attribute, you know, to just have it all to yourself, you know. And don't even ask if you've been burnt in the past by friends or family. Yo, that will make you such a selfish individual. But like I say, it all has a foundation. You understand? So, which is why now we who are waking up, we call ourselves conscious or woke, we have an obligation to learn the ma'at, to learn the proper way to discern when we should hold things for ourselves and when we should be given. As they say, your dominant hand, in that case, would be my left hand. Your dominant hand is for is for receiving, and the other hand for giving. You know, I don't know if I have it the other way around. Um, in terms of when 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 you're dealing with crystal energy. So ultimately, family, it's just something that we need to be aware of, you know, acknowledge it, and then make changes towards it. Because as a big man and a big woman, I mean, to be selfish, I mean, it's a kind of way. While I understand what we have been through and how things are so hard in the world today, I mean, the little that you have, you hold it for yourself and for your family, and but it still doesn't hurt to give. You see what I'm saying? Still doesn't hurt to give, family. That is one of the main principles we can see that makes humanity carry on, you know. Because I still live in England there, Asa, and it's like the houses or the apartments are stuck up together, you know. I wouldn't even know my neighbor to say I know my neighbor and I can go and ask the man for some sugar or some salt or, you know, if I'm missing something. I cannot do that. But that is an aspect of sharing or giving because, again, you don't have. Again, you have to swallow your pride to ask. And go ask the neighbor that you're probably even afraid might tell you no. You know what I mean? So they didn't really have that connection. But when you see a place that has predominantly black people, you will get that sort of energy. You get me where people will just be giving and people just free up and hey, I had too much of that. And look, I bring some of that for you. Or if I don't have something, Suzette or something, you know, give some sugar there. I will go and buy it later. Or especially for shop, uh, tea boutique <laughs> or the mall or something, as they say, is not that close. You know what I mean? We have to. We have to display that loving attribute family. To me, that is more godlike than being the narcissist and the self-centered individuals and characters of today and even of that Bible. You know. So again, it was just a short bill family to just show us that yeah, there are times we being selfish when we don't really have to. And probably it has a foundational reason or principle why it is that way. So again, it's all about doing the shadow work, digging in, seeing what needs to be done, and doing the work better version of yourself as we continue our ascension. And having said that family, big up peace and love to you. Don't forget